in the heart of Yellowstone, a legendary wolf roams the canyons. Beating the odds. This extraordinary female rises to power as a leader of the pack. This is the tale of Yellowstone's She-Wolf. Yellowstone, the wolf rules as apex predator. Ten packs divide up the hunting grounds. Almost all of them led by an alpha pair, a power couple. But one clan is different. Their leader is a female with unusual power. And they are one of the most successful of all Yellowstone's wolf packs. When they head out on the hunt, She-Wolf is in charge. The males are her lieutenants. the kill. A wolf at the top of her game. The story of her rise is an incredible tale of struggle and triumph. Her childhood is everything a wolf should be. She's born into a thriving wolf clan. Like any baby wolf, she starts out about the size of a can of soda. Within a couple of weeks, her eyes open. Fed by her capable mother, our young wolf packs on about one and a half kilograms a week. In the rough and tumble, the pups are sorting out who will rise to power. The future leaders already trying to dominate. A wolf has less than a year to grow up. When the snows come, our gray wolf still has time to play. But her youth is soon over. And then, Pack expects her to join them on the hunt.
today, their target isn't prey. It's a rival coyote robbing their carcass. lesson in wolf life. If the pack's going to survive, there can be no mercy. She grows up a member of a formidable clan. under a ruling alpha pair, her mother and father. At this age, no one suspects she could become a powerful female pack leader. But when she's almost two, her alpha male father dies, and her world begins to fall apart. Prey numbers are down. Her pack battles rival bands for what little meat they can find. <laughs> Some of her pack take off, trying to escape to better lives. Others die. She survives the grim year. But where her pack was a powerful 17 wolves, now she's one of just a handful left. She's at a crossroads. She doesn't want to inbreed with her own kin. To have young, she must leave what's left of her family and risk everything for a new beginning. <laughs> she turns her back on the only world she's ever known, the pack. Now a lone wolf, she heads off in search of a partner, a new home. Many wolves are forced to leave their families to breed but it's the most dangerous time of their lives. Many don't survive. For the first time, she's up against the wilderness without her family by her side. Winter should be easier for a wolf. Prey is concentrated in the lowlands. But without a pack, nothing's easy. She must cross the territory of rivals, threatening to kill her at every turn. As a lone wolf, she has no protection.
alone, it's harder even to get food. She makes it through to summer. But for a wolf, things now get tougher. Prey animals are fitter, harder to catch. Yet with a sense of smell more than a hundred times better than humans, the wolf can detect a meal nearly two kilometers away. A baby elk would make a juicy morsel. her calf and tries to distract the wolf. Her pack taught her how to hunt, but they didn't prepare her for what happens next. She-wolf is hungry and on the hunt. She targets a tender elk calf. But mom's got other ideas. Hunting alone is a difficult task. Without a pack, the prey can turn the tables. If she's going to survive, she needs to find some dinner that can't fight back. It's time to lower her sights. Better than nothing, but it's just a snack. By late summer, she's been scraping by for half a year. All around her, other animals are getting excited about romance. She's alone, though she's surrounded by food. Mm -hmm. 
She knows how to snag rodents. But now, she's up for something bigger. The calf takes refuge among the bison. She-wolf can't catch a break. But then, something totally astonishing. The one-ton herbivores turn on the elk. death is good luck for she-wolf. She can eat up to nine kilograms at one sitting. A few more lucky breaks like this and she has a chance but she still needs to find a mate. Normally, a lone wolf would hope to hook up in a couple of months. She's been on the move for close to a year. And now, a scent. It's not prey. Not just one guy, but two. And no female rival to get in the way. She settles down with the smaller of the brothers. It takes at least two to build a pack. Now she can at last start to fulfill her ambition. But she'll face an unexpected challenge. To confront it, she must become a truly extraordinary wolf. It's spring in Yellowstone. A few months ago, She-Wolf was struggling and alone. Now, she's pregnant. Her goal of starting a family is beginning to take shape. Normally, she needs around three kilograms of meat a day. But she's eating for more than one now. She's lucky to find a carcass. She should be able to return for more later. But a feast like this draws a crowd. Rivals like coyotes and eagles. She can't keep them off alone. Yet her partner and his brother aren't much help. The problem is, they're very young. She-wolf is twice her mate's age. He's acting like a teenager, more interested in goofing around 
than in the grown-up job of protecting the kill. If he doesn't step up, the job of feeding her family will fall to her, while the eagles and coyotes fight each other for her kill. By late spring, she has a healthy litter. But that means four more mouths to feed. And it's almost like she's a single parent and a lone wolf again. Normally, wolves hunt as a pack, and the males take down the prey. With a family depending on her, the stakes are now much higher. For a male to take on an elk alone is bold. For a lone female, it's almost reckless. Elk use water as a refuge. Long legs give them an edge. One kick could literally crush her skull. No quitter, but she's out of her depth. She's lost out on maybe 50 kilograms of meat. She can't give up. Her family needs many kilos of food every day. There's only one way to keep them fed. She must do something unusual for a female and master hunting elk alone. It takes months of work. Hunting elk alone is close to impossible. But She-Wolf has grit and determination. And one day, it happens. A 
up against a full-grown elk cow. She clamps her jaws on to suffocate it. She knows how to go for the throat. Hunting like this, a lone predator, she's almost like a big cat. Part wolf, part tigress. By the end of winter, she's trained her pups to join the hunt. Her partner and his brother are at last stepping up. It's taken nearly two years, but against all odds, She-Wolf has created her own pack. They are named the Lamar Canyon Pack. This is how a wolf is supposed to live. She can now go into the hunt with power on her side. As a pack, they can target a huge bull elk. They have the patience to wait it out. The bull is done for. just able to hunt. Now they can scare rivals off their kills. Yellowstone wolves. She now has nine pups and wears a research collar. What she doesn't know is a new enemy awaits. outnumbered and have to fight to the death for what's theirs. Elk numbers are down in the park. The invaders are probably ranging in search of food. 
and they will battle to take over She-Wolf's territory. Her pack is caught off guard. When the rivals attack, the best thing to do is run. Most of her pack escapes. But one daughter is separated. Against an enemy pack, a single wolf is doomed. At the last minute, lucky for her, they let her go. The attack is a reminder. The greatest threat comes from other wolves. Even for She-Wolf, the ultimate survivor, this is a clear and present danger. Tense months go by until the enemy shows up once more. But then, five of the rivals split off to hunt. <laughs> Tables are turned. Now She Wolf's pack has the advantage. This time, it's her pack that cuts off one of the enemy.
herself delivers the final blows. She's made her territory safe from the enemy. Now she's earned some time out from her crazy working mom schedule to enjoy her family. Deep down, they're just like big dogs. This holiday can't last. Elk numbers in her part of Yellowstone continue to fall. The population has collapsed by nearly half over She-Wolf's lifetime. That winter, Lack of food becomes a crisis. She-Wolf will stop at nothing to keep her family alive. Mother, provider, warrior. Now she must become savior. With food so short in the park, she has no choice but to lead her pack out of Yellowstone. But it's not her turf. There are hundreds of wolves out there already who will view her as the enemy. And not just the rival packs. Outside the park boundaries, many see wolves as vermin to be shot on sight. She's taking a huge gamble to feed her family, and she can't know how it will turn out. She-Wolf leads her pack out of Yellowstone Park, into an alien world. As usual, she takes point position. She's surrounded by danger, but if any wolf can pull off this risky move, she can. Sure enough, she finds what they need. Over six years of struggle, she conquered all the challenges that life threw at her. She achieved her goal to build a wolf pack. And she rose to become an extraordinary female pack leader. It all ends with a hunter's bullet. Falls apart. 
she was their leader and their mother. For her partner, her death is life-changing. He's lost his mate. If he wants to have more young, he must strike out alone, just as she will had to. discovers what it means to be a lone wolf. For the surviving family, he's history. But she-wolf's spirit lives on in her daughter, Middle Gray. some of the survivors. And soon finds new blood, a male from outside the park. Next spring, Middle Gray gives birth to She-Wolf's grandkids. Their lives will be full of challenges. Prey numbers may rise and fall. They will face danger. But Middle Gray has inherited She-Wolf's grit and determination and continues her legacy, leading her pups as a new Yellowstone She-Wolf.